Welcome to West Wing Week. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president hosted the first state visit for the French president in 20 years, signed the Farm Bill, and raised the minimum wage for federal contractors. It's February 7th to February 13th for the red, white, and blue, and the blue, blue, white, and red. On Friday, the president took a chilly trip to Michigan, where he and Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack were warmly welcomed on a tour of the work happening at the Michigan Biotechnology Institute. Following the tour, a local uh, second-generation farmer, Ben LaCrosse, so introduced the president, who then signed the Farm Bill into law and spoke on the importance of investing in American workers. The Farm Bill is not just about helping farmers. Secretary Vilsack calls it a jobs bill, an innovation bill, an infrastructure bill, a research bill, a conservation bill. It's like a Swiss Army knife. And then, moving out of sub-zero temperatures and into the relatively balmy mid-Atlantic, the president enjoyed the Friday evening ride back to the White House with views of the Potomac and the National Monuments. Voila, c'est lundi, and the White House complex covered in French and American flags was abuzz with the arrival of French President Francois Hollande. The two presidents kicked off their two-day visit with a private tour at nearby Monticello, former home of founding father and U.S. ambassador to France, Thomas Jefferson. Our hope in starting our visit this way is that uh, just as we can extend back through generations to see the links between the United States and France, uh, tomorrow we'll have an opportunity to talk about not only our current uh, bonds uh, and alliance, but also ways that we can strengthen our cooperation in the future. We reflected on the values that we share, the ideals at the heart of our alliance. Here, under the red, white, and blue, and the blue, white, and red, we declare our devotion once more to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. During the state visit, about 100 people were selected to participate in a White House social, having traveled from as far away as California and Louisiana, were given the chance to attend the state arrival and share their experience over their own social media accounts. On Wednesday, the president signed an executive order in the East Room. Thank you very much for your help and support the workers. Requiring the minimum wage for federal contractors to be raised to at least $10.10 per hour as part of his effort to expand opportunity for all Americans and to ensure that hard work can lead to a decent living. When you hear me talking about my pen and my phone to make a difference for middle class Americans and those working to get in the middle class, this is exactly what I mean. I'm going to do what I can. Congress should do what it needs to do. I will not give up on this fight no matter how long it takes. America deserves a raise. Working families deserve to know some more economic security in their own lives. We've got to create new jobs, strengthen the middle class, build new ladders of opportunity for folks working their way into the middle class, just like these folks are doing right here. On Thursday, the president welcomed Department of Veterans Affairs employee Kenneth Sear to the Oval Office. Kenneth was the 2013 SAVE Award winner for his proposal to make pharmacy package tracking information available to veterans online through the administration's web-based portal. Et voila! You've gone and done it, viewers. You've spent five minutes watching West Wing Week. We say keep at it. Stay engaged with the White House on social media, and remember, you can find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events at whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out this 202nd edition of The West Wing Week. You got some bags of chips. Yeah, these are chips. Oh, you can share them with your, with your staff. I think we got to try one right now. You're not going to want to eat Lay's after you eat these. And, and so these are uh, very... Oh, this guy, he is, he is the king of chips. I love chips. Come on, man. Let's I try one? Yeah, this, this is like, you know how they have wine <laughs> tasters and stuff? This is... Uh, the bouquet is nice. <laughs> oh, that's a nice chip. That's a big chip. Oh, really you want some of those chips to come with us? The chips are all coming with us. These are our chips. <laughs> These are our chips. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you take, you take we'll leave the Mr. Potato Head there. <laughs>